This is the SIM module. It's pretty small. And here's the connector for the SIM card. The module itself is only 2 inches by 2 inches. And it has wires going out for the SIM card connection. And I just chose to have a card so I can put in SIM cards like these. However, since they're just wires in the same interface, you can hook up a connector like this as well. It doesn't really matter. So the interface itself has all the power regulation taken care of, the capacitors, any pull-ups, uh, and also all the shifters, the voltage shifters. So it has a interface just like this, and the interface can go into any breadboard. It just goes straight in. And the interface is detailed over here. I'll go into that in a second. So as you can see, you have your breadboard, and all you need to do is just squeeze it in over here, and it goes straight in. Uh, what I usually do with this board is use jumpers. So, for example, I'll use any of Spark Bunch jumpers or one of my custom ones. So I would just connect this inside and then plug it into my breadboard or into a circuit board or anything like that. And what these boards are really good for is for piggybacking onto other boards. So let's say you have your main circuit board over here. What you could do is put on a connector and once you have your connector you can just push it in and now your board is cellular now. So I just added cellular features to the board. Uh, the cellular module handles data, internet, texting, anything a regular phone would have. And it has an antenna connection over here. So you just connect your antenna. You connect your antenna over here. And you can just screw on this antenna over here. And it uses a standard antenna. The interface is really simple, and all the levels are 5 volt levels. So, the top, the top two are ground pins. Then you have the AVR RX pin, it connects to the UR RX of your AVR. Here's the TX pin, here's VCC, which is just 5 volts, and it's approximately an amp maximum. Here's the switch, and what the switch is, is on your SIM card holder, Many of them have switches to know when your SIM card is plugged in. So this switch has a pull up built into the board and it goes high and low so it tells you if a SIM card is in or not. Here's power key. Power key is to turn on, that's ignition system. You simply pull it low, then pull it high and you have the cellular module on and you could turn it off through power key as well. Netlight isn't really that useful for uh, programming, but it gives you a good debugging. When your SIM card is on and your whole SIM module and cellular module are running properly, then it starts pulsing. So you can connect, you can connect it to an LED or even a PWM reader, and that li that'll let you know it is. Status is somewhat helpful. It'll go low when the cellular module is on. It's useful for debugging, and all of these pins over here are all voltage shifted. So everything here is just 5 volts. You can connect it to any AVR, and it's really just that simple. And here's the module once more. It's pretty small, has all the voltage regulation on it. Uh, very simple. Pretty thin, too. Just tell me what you think.